The immediate past governor of Ondo State, Dr. Olushegun, Mimi Ko, has charged the incoming administration on unity and managing diversity for a fair, just and better nation. Details in this report. The immediate past governor of Ondo State, Dr. Olushegun Mimiko, has charged the incoming administration on unity and managing diversity for a fair, just and better nation. Mimiko said this at the Change and Development Forum on the theme, Good Governance and Accountability, setting the agenda for Nigeria's incoming administration. In his address, the former Undo State Governor emphasized steps to help the nation become better developed. And a crass demonstration of office sensibility to our diversity has heightened our identity consciousness in Nigeria. So I do you imagine that to contest for power and identity will not be possible, will not be a factor. Your ethnicity, your religion, and all of that. The incoming administration must see management of this diversity as the number one. Accountability is the number one. They must be accountable. He must avoid, or they must avoid the 97%, 5% conundrum of the outgoing Buhari administration. Because 97% voted for me, they take everything. 5% voted for me, they didn't vote for me. You deprive them of their rights. It's absolutely important. If we don't unite this country, we ain't going nowhere. On his part, the Secretary to the Ogun State's Government, Olato Kumbo Talabi, emphasized that the state's government has been accountable in its approach. Dispensation of poverty. You cannot ask in an hungry man to be reasonable. You cannot. You will see a dispensation where somebody will say, yes, you can do the infrastructure. We, I mean, this excellency you know, we try to do roads, infrastructures, do everything. We have seen, I've seen properties in, in, in Abe Okuta transform for 20 million to 80 million in one and a half years. We're building houses, people are buying faster than we can build. The rail system is working, people are coming now. It's becoming, when they did this thing about mega city, Ogun State was annexed to it as a mega city different from Lagos because we know that is the next frontier. So you can see that we're, there's, there's progress there. While the convener, Leike Adeboye, described the foundation as kingdom advancement that focuses on youth empowerment, education, leadership and government his vision that has now become our vision the foundation pushes of touching lives through direct individual impact community-based impact and national development through the following initiatives we have kingdom advancement youth empowerment education leadership and governance sanitation and clean water initiatives. Um, in the last one year, the foundation has been able to record many successes, some of which are mentioned, like the donation of blocks of eight bathroom toilets in Iwo Ati, community in Akwa Ibom State. Please celebrate that achievement. The consensus is that sustainable development can be achieved by leveraging partnerships and collaborations to deliver individual, community, and nation-based impact. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.